Meanwhile, in Maryland, health officials reported today that radioactive fallout from Japan turned up in rainwater over the weekend, but it's not a reason to be concerned. In fact, Scott Broom reports the state secretary of health is cautioning people who might be seeking out anti-radiation medication, don't do it. One of the hottest selling items on the internet these days is an anti-radiation medication called potassium iodide. Now, with Japanese radiation showing up in East Coast rainwater in air, should you be buying some? Joshua Sharfstein is Maryland's Secretary of Health and Mental Hygiene. In fact, I would say right now that it would be risky to take because every medication has side effects. And right now, there is just no benefit. Sharfstein's department announced today this state lab detected radioactive iodine-131 over the weekend in Maryland rainwater. Friday, air monitors around the region's nuclear power plants also picked up traces, all at extraordinarily low levels, Sharfstein says. Amount. It's less than what we're exposed to just walking around. Now, it's a scientific fact that we're exposed to radiation all the time. Cosmic rays, radon in drinking water, etc. It is called background radiation. If you directly drank the rainwater in question, you would add to your background exposure by about 6%, according to Jason Harris of Idaho State University, whose school publishes a radiation and risk report online. Even though it is a measurable amount, the dose that you would receive from this is still very, very small. Of course, virtually no one is drinking rainwater as it falls. It is diluted by going into rivers and reservoirs and water treatment plants, which is why health officials here can say with confidence that this is nothing worth worrying about. In Baltimore, Scott Broom, 9 News Now. Further testing in Maryland of municipal water and milk from cows that might ingest rainwater have found no radiation, but the testing will continue.